G'day everyone, I hope you're well. So, I recently purchased this. I've been eyeing it off for probably, probably since it came out, which was 2018. Uh, newly tooled from Roden. It's the 135 scale Holt 75 artillery tractor. This is just the tractor. They also have released a version towing the uh, field gun uh, and something else, can't remember what it was, another trailer, like towing two tra oh, the gun and a, another trailer. So, we got a couple of schemes by the looks of it to choose from. Let's have a look. <clears throat> so, I don't know, last maybe five to ten years I've taken a real interest in World War One vehicles. I find them quite fascinating. So I've never built Roden uh, vehicle. I've built aircraft from Roden, and I would put them in the limited run style of kit. They can be a bit difficult. And we'll have a look at the decals over here. I know I did the, uh, I think it was the 148 bird dog. And the decals in that were appalling. I couldn't use them. I had to source others, but these look all right, thankfully. Well, uh, when I get around to doing this, I might uh, make up a stencil to do, paint it on. Okay, so we have our sprue tree map. And then we are into the... What are we into? The base, the uh, chassis by the looks of it. And we start we're coming into the uh, engine uh, now we're on to the tracks which I think are individual uh, track links I think I saw there uh, guards engine going on and then you underside we got plate going on linkages radiator uh, fuel tank uh, then it's going into the roof and steering column driver's seat and foot pedals uh, and then the last thing is going on the exhaust and the roof and the radiator uh, so the color call outs are in Vallejo which I would not use because I do not like acrylics but at least they're simply named olive brown and stone grey and whatnot so it's easy to convert to across to other brands of paint and then we got the uh, first scheme uh, unknown artillery unit U.S. Expeditionary Forces in Europe, 1918. And the last one is British Army, 1917. Unknown Artillery Unit. Now, look at the plastic. Track links, we'll start with them. Make four of these, I'll just look at the one. 
a uh, bit of flash. It's, um, I'm just going to say I'm not surprised having experience with rodent kits, but otherwise they seem pretty well moulded. Just, just going to take a bit of time cleaning them up. Again, we got flash happening. Uh, ejection pin pins need to be broken off there. Uh, this round framework in, uh, ejection pins on the inside will have to be taken care of. Same on this one. some framework on here the bolt heads they look all right big uh, sprue injection pin marks on the inside hopefully that's in a spot where it won't be seen otherwise there'll be uh, some filling work required again we've got some flash happening uh, two of the same here yeah. yep. yeah. right. at least nothing appears to be broken on the sprue bit of flash again it's uh not Tamiya quality, obviously, but then I didn't expect it would be. And then again, Tamiya would never make something like this, so if you want to do it, you got to go with what you can get. Uh, exhaust. Uh, the seat. Engine. The engine's got the uh, halt moulded in to the cast. Iron block. Yeah, all same bit of flash here and there, but it's pretty uh, nicely molded like, with all the bolt details. The radiator again we got the halt that's molded into it which is a nice touch just a bit of clean up on the where the seat uh, the molds join together a bit of a seam flash but that's that's just about every manufacturer that's nothing unique uh, nice uh, checker plate style molding it's not actually checker plate, but you get the drift. And the last sprue, I got the roof. Now, I thought I read a review about this kit. Something about the roof, the ejection pin marks in it. Well, maybe I'm thinking of something else, but there's none in it, so it's good to go. Because you could. pretty thick so uh, perhaps you could get some actual thin aluminium and make up a, a roof yourself making uh, corrugated texture but I don't, don't see a problem with using that that looks pretty good again we got the running boards a bit of flash but you got that nice non uh, slip texture in the plate really nice so there you have it I'll take some photos close up so you can get a better look at some of the parts but uh, just I really love the the subject matter it's something different and it just 
makes a nice display. Thank you.